Today on PTL, we have a very colorful guest visiting from the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. We have Henry Kasperzik, also a very colorful guest with us. He is going <laughs> to tell us what he has brought with us. Beautiful, Henry. Well, we're on the verge of spring. You know, meteorological spring has started. I want to mm -hmm. remind people it's time to get out, come to the zoo, have a lot of fun. And this very colorful bird really represents, you know, the height of spring. This is magic. He's a green winged macaw and you'll find them typically in the wild would be South America. Uh, one of the bigger macaw species and uh, he comes out and he does education programs. Throughout oh, the oh good, he's looking the other way towards the camera so we can get a better shot of him. Now here's what I want to tell you that happened right before we came on. Mm -hmm. First off, Selena hid behind me I, um, and you said there's nothing holding the bird so it could fly away in the studio, right? Yeah, it could and you know, <laughs> it makes for a good blooper segment for future. <laughs> I, I I've never seen him take off. He's usually he very likes comfortable you. on a hand. And okay. So, uh, I was going to say, Magic is really calm. It he seems. Is. He, again, he, they do education programs. If anybody's interested, mm -hmm. they can come, you know, sign up through the, our uh, education website and you know book this bird perhaps to come to their school and or they can sort of enroll in our summer uh, camp, which mm -hmm. is at the zoo, and meet this bird as well. Ah. Now he reminds me of a parrot. Me too. So. Can he and, and talk every, like a parrot? He does say hello. He oh. just said hello when you guys were on the air. And I'm did thinking, he? Oh, did we're he? being super quiet, and he, and he comes out and says hello, usually in a woman's voice, a female voice. But he did it in lower, and this might be because I'm working with him today. Uh, he did it in a lower. So term. he will mimic because he's with you. He lowers his voice a little bit. Yeah, he did lower it. Yes. Wow. Do you think we can get him to say something? Well, you can try and ask him hello. Oh, hello, magic. Do you watch PTL magic? Can you say PTL? Can you do, yes. Can you do, yes. We love PTL. <laughs> We're trying to brainwash the bird. Anyone tuning in right now is going to think these two have cracked up. <laughs> well, your guys are having fun. So, you know, but uh, part of uh, what we're actually going to talk about as well is some of the programs that are coming up. Today mm -hmm. is a free day at the zoo. It's uh, World uh, conservation day so we want to focus on conservation animals not the best day because it's raining yeah but you know you can also come out for our, uh, our breakfast and lunch with the uh, Easter Bunny and they take animals out like magic there as well so if people are coming out with their family and kids and want to spend you know get a unique perspective of this particular animal or some of our, uh, excuse me of some of our other animals and you know they can book something with the zoo and so it's three different days for the breakfast with the Easter Bunny. Registration is open online right now for it. And it's really a meet and greet, right? It is. Well, you have breakfast or lunch, uh, okay. depending on when you sign up. And then when they're done, uh, they bring out different animals and uh, they'll do a little talk about the animals and perhaps give you a photo op. Oh, okay. and you have Zumba and Zen classes too, right? We do. I don't do those, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I've aged out of those things, but yes, we do them. They're kind of fun. They do them in different parts of the zoo. Uh, so, you, you know, sometimes in Discovery, sometimes at Water's Edge, and it gives you a chance to see the zoo sort of after hours. Mm -hmm. and, and so is Zumba and Zen, are those two separate They're classes? separate classes. One's exercise and one's meditation? I suppose. You do. <laughs> you got to try it, Henry. You and Magic. Meditation is good, Henry. Yeah. We could do it together. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> okay. All right. And, and back to Magic. How old is Magic? Magic's about 25, and they can live 75 years or longer. You know, people, that's a commitment. People don't understand when they get a bird like this as a pet, they have to think about what they're going to do should they pass. I mean, honestly, yeah. you have to, you you have have to, to make plan for the bird. Make arrangements. Um, you know, obviously, the zoo sometimes try to help. We can't help everybody, or mm -hmm. we get a lot of calls. I used to get a lot of calls for alligators, for instance, and how many alligators can you have? I, you know, right, um, right. But people don't understand an alligator living 55 years. This bird certainly lived in 75 years. So um, contemplate that before you get a pet. I recommend going to shelter, dog or cat. Yeah, you know, get the cat that sleeps in the coffee mug. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect I know. Animal. Isn't that a perfect oh, cat? So All right, before we run out of time, where does it? Where is its ears? Do, how does it hear? So their ears are covered in the fur back here. Huh. Yeah, let me show. Okay. Back. I, I, oh, 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 oh. oh. Well, they're back here. Okay. okay. Nobody poked me in the eye. He said, don't poke me in the eye. <laughs> but it's like right right <laughs> under the feathers. Yeah, so, uh, so he can hear everything we're saying. He can hear. Yes. Maybe okay. he'll, we can get him to say goodbye. 
Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Selena's hiding. Goodbye, Magic. I got complete control. Yeah. Don't you worry. Goodbye, well, Magic. <laughs> All right, well, we do have to say goodbye. We do. But, thank, but, thank you for thank having you. us thank on. Thank you. And again, today's a free day at the it's zoo. A free day. Come on out to the zoo. Right. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Henry you. and Magic. And for more details about all of those upcoming events at the zoo and aquarium, make sure to visit PittsburghTodayLive.com.